guys welcome back to my channel angie tings tonight i'm gonna go over something that a lot of people have asked me to touch on and that is how to build your profile on night flirt so we went over how to make goodies how to set up your account how to uh, make listings all that but now we're gonna go over your profile perhaps the most important part of um your account is creating a beautiful, stunning, eye-catching, aesthetically pleasing profile so that when callers go on the website or on their phone and they see your profile, they click on you and they call you and they see your listings and they also get a feel of what you're about and you know you kind of want to make it something very visual. We know how visual guys are so um, in a good profile, I just want to show you like the difference I guess between a poor or poorly built profile or sometimes even non-existing profiles because a lot of girls on here don't have one or don't have one yet versus a well built beautiful stunning profile that will definitely catch the attention of anyone that clicks on you. So. For example, here we have Goddess V. Let's go on her details. And when you click on her details for that listing, you're going to see that there's nothing to the listing. It's just one line of text. Now, this is not good because it screams either you're a noob, don't know what you're doing, or you're new to the site, or it screams like fake account or bot. And that's not a good thing. Like you want people to take you seriously. You want clients to see what you're about, what services you provide, what you look like, all these things, your buttons. Buttons are something um, very important as well that we're gonna go over how to create later in this video. So when I click on her actual profile, not just the listing, you see that she doesn't really have a profile. She just has her listings. So again, that's not good because there's like no services listed. Um, she doesn't have any buttons. Obviously she has her goodies listed on here, but she doesn't have any buttons, no big pictures, no profile that is actually built. Only her listings show. And if we go back and click on someone else, let's go with Dr. Sophia. We click on her details and it takes you to her beautifully built profile. You can tell that she took the time to build a beautiful profile. She has her buy now button that takes her, takes uh, the caller, sorry, <laughs> to her goodies. Right now she just has one goodie, but you can see that her button works. Beautiful profile, pictures of herself, probably using um, AI generated pics. You can just kind of tell, but that's okay because a lot of girls do that. And you can see she lists her services and the stuff that she does. What kinks and fetishes um, she provides or does. Her availability, that's really good as well to have on your profile. A little bit about her. I like that the background is not just white, it's... um. A nice degradé or ombre it makes it look better just aesthetically so I'm gonna just um, quickly show you what my profile looks like and how I built it so this is my profile and this banner here where you can see like this picture of me and the different fonts the different text um, this is a banner that I that I created with Canva so I used Canva to make this banner here. I can't remember the dimensions or the size of the banner, but I'm gonna put it here in the video so that you know. Um, this is just a size that definitely worked for me. I didn't have to make any adjustments afterwards to make it fit properly onto my page. Because sometimes you'll see some profiles have like the picture is distorted or it's too big and it's not centered and half of the picture of the girl is <laughs> not showing because it's like all the way to the right or all the way to the left. So I just found that this specific size worked for me perfectly. And as for how to get the source of your image, um, like my banner image that I screenshotted 
all that time ago and that I put on my profile, you just go to Google and literally just open your files, go to your banner that you created on Canva, going through all my pictures. <laughs> And literally just drag it onto the search bar and there you go that's the source copy it go to your profile um, go to the HTML box shall I say and then normally I would just paste it uh, right here but since it's already there my picture is already there the source of my picture I'm not gonna do it but that's how you get the source so yeah guys easy PC <laughs> I was watching a movie <laughs> easy PC melon squeezy the banner ends like right here and then everything after that so all this text I just um, added um, just manually as HTML and then I have my clickable button that takes you to my goodies so that you can see all my goodies if you want to buy my pictures my videos it just redirects the customers to my goodies and then on the left side I have another banner this banner is literally just a picture of myself and a bunch of text that again um, I did through HTML just manually wrote it down and um, just listing my services etc etc I have my Amazon wish list that's the only wish list um, I believe that you can add your Amazon one I don't think um, from what I remember that they let you add a throne or a wish tender please 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 don't add your cash app only fans any socials that are not twitter etc etc because like you might get flagged or you might get in trouble usually they'll let you know anyway like hey don't put this in your code but still so yeah guys that's what my profile looks like again i made the banners with canva then i took a screenshot of the canva banner and I just coded it into the HTML box. So if you don't have any coding experience like me, um, you don't know anything about HTML, which is the language that my flirt uses for coding, don't be scared, don't freak out. It's really easy once you have like some kind of template. And that's why I'm going to share this template. This is all the coding for my profile that I did from scratch. The first day that I signed up on Night Flirt, I coded everything by myself. It took me a whole day and I really, really wish that I had gone on the forums. I'm going to show you what I mean. So Night Flirt has Flirt Help and under Flirt Help, you go on the community forums, which again, they're amazing as uh, sources of information, advice, tips. Um, you even get flirts that want to help you and offer their services to build a profile or buttons, stuff like that. So if you don't know what you're doing, just go to the community forums. It's the holy grail of like just info and help. And it feels like a big community and family of people that want to generally help each other. And um, on the links here, <clears throat> you can see there's free Night Flirt graphics, free Night Flirt buttons, etc, etc. So just click on free Night Flirt buttons. And some of the links are broken, so they're not going to show, like that one for example. So instead just go to free Night Flirt codes. That's the only one you're going to need. And under free Night Flirt graphics or buttons or whatever, <laughs> You get a bunch of really cute, beautiful, interactive um, GIFs, buttons with the code already done for you. All you have to do is copy and paste it onto your HTML box. 
or under your listing when you go to edit listing you just paste it on there obviously make sure to when you copy the code you paste it on your profile or under your listing and then in between um, the brackets just um, put in like the the link to your profile or to your pay-per-view so it takes them to like where they can spoil you or if it's a for example a buy my picks button you're gonna take the code copy put it on your profile let's go back to night third <laughs> You're gonna edit profile, go to the dreaded code box, <laughs> and you're just gonna, let's just like paste it anywhere. You're just gonna paste it, and then between the little brackets, I believe it's here. I haven't done this in a while, you guys, but just experiment with it. But here, it's either here or here, I can't remember where it is. Anyway here you just take the link from your um what is it your goodies because this is a buy my picks button right so you're gonna want to take let's duplicate the the page i'm gonna go to goodies and just take the link from my um my goodie bag this goodie bag so just copy back to the code and paste it right there hit OK and then if we scroll all the way down and there it is yay I already have um, a buy now button so I can just delete the new one <laughs> I'm gonna go back and delete it Oop. because I don't need that but you get the gist of it you guys just make sure to play around with the code and see what works for you. It's important to note as well that Nightflirt already provides you with buttons um, that you can use. So you just go to create buttons and then depending on which one you want, I mean, I guess we could do a call button. It tells you how to use them, how to put it on your profile, it tells you everything you need to know. It's very straightforward. So, yeah. But I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick, just so you have an idea. As you can see, it says, when you're available, your call button will look like this. And when you're away, it will look like this. So send mail. So let's try it out, you guys. It says, to place call buttons, log into your night flirt, and go to the listing you want a call button for. So let's do that. Let's go to our listings. Let's select the sexy Spanish teacher listing and see where it says get call button. We're just going to click on get call button. Take the code. Then go to edit because we're going to edit the listing. Go all the way down. And here's the description of our listing. I'm gonna skip two spaces and literally just paste, boop, just paste the code on there. Hit OK. And there you go. Now we have our clickable send mail button or call button. In this case, it says send mail because we're away. I'm not unavailable. So yeah, there you go, guys. And then when you click that button, it redirects you to my profile. You can make it so it redirects you to the listing, but I mean, I think since we're already on the listing, that's what it shows. But yeah, that's just how to use the HTML to get the call button. I've been wanting to add some um, payment mail buttons. I've always kind of struggled learning how to do that one, so why not do it in real time with you guys? Because I was reading about it earlier, so hopefully I can do it this time. <laughs> so let's go to create new button, type of mail, 
payment request because we want to get that tribute. Let's make it a $5 tribute. Tribute, you're a goddess. And I'm just going to write something like, oh, thank you for your tribute. And there we go. Okay, and I'm going to hit continue. And it says, your payment request button has been created successfully. To give customers access to your button, insert the following URL anywhere on the web. Blah, 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 blah. Or if you would like the link to appear as below button, just simply copy the HTML. Okay, so let's copy the HTML. And now let's go back to our account, edit profile, go to the dreaded <laughs> HTML coding box. I'm gonna skip. Mm, I wanna make it look different. I don't want the little cart buy now thing. Let's see if we can change that. I'm gonna go to account, edit profile. Go down where the button is. Payment button. Mm -hmm. Buy now. Oh, okay. What if? Oh, is there a way I can just like use one of these? I'm learning as I go too, by the way, you guys. Because I know a few things, but others I'm learning. Still, because I want the really cute cute button on it. Preview. Oh, there it is. It's working now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> Yay! It's working now. Okay, so now we got the spoil me button. Let's click it. And it should say, yeah, okay. Sorry, you cannot send mail. Okay, well, we know it's working at least because it's taking them, in this case, me, but it's taking the person that clicks it to the payment mail button one. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that's how you make buttons, you guys. Play around with it. I'm still kind of like learning the ropes with the buttons, but as long as you have a goodie bags one, and I would say a tribute one, then honestly, you're all, you're all set because you already have um, existing buttons on here provided by Nightflirt. I hope you guys found this video useful and motivating to get on Nightflirt and create your profile and make it look stunning because you deserve a beautiful profile and you're going to get all those calls. So I'm going to be making a video on because I just got paid like my money just got withdrawn from Nightflirt into my mass pay. It's on its way to me. So I'm going to be making a video on how mass pay works as a payment method. Um, this month I didn't make too much because I haven't been on the phone much to be honest so I'm expecting to get like 300 350 dollars into my mass pay but I'm gonna still uh, just use that to demonstrate how to use mass pay for anyone out there that has any doubts on the payment method and um, yeah Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao!